Hello, this is Tim from JLMiniatures.com. Um, this is one of my uh, latest projects I've been working on. What this is is uh, it is the uh, Warhammer Fantasy Giant. Um, I did them in a jumping pose. Um, by doing that, it just gives them a little bit more uh, action than just stand there and making look like he's just lumbering along. Um, as you can tell, that he's actually off the ground completely. And that I used a, a paper clip with some uh, tall grass to hide the paper clip right there. And uh, I take and uh, play against Bretonians sometimes, so I decided to carve the uh, the guy out of his hand and uh, actually put a Bretonian knight in its place, along with the legs and everything else. It was uh, quite a extensive part just to even do that. It was very time consuming. Um, another thing I did was, of course, uh, he took and uh, got the lance in to his side. And so there it is coming out of his lower back right there. You can see the skin kind of pulling as it's coming through. I redid the uh, the legs. Instead of having the legs more straight, I took and uh, actually cut at the knees and uh cut back from from the back and made a like a triangular shape all the way to his kneecap and then cut back and then what that did is it bent it and uh pulled his leg back and underneath and then at his hips I took and uh, also cut those both and then readjusted those repositioned them to make them look um like they were more like he was squatting getting ready to do a serious jump the uh back um, from this point here to this point here, I took and uh, I cut it and bent him over so he's more arched. And then uh, with plastic card, I kind of made a rough skeleton just so I could put some green stuff to it and then fill in the rest. So I had to take and redo his spine and all that. On his uh, arms, also, I took and cut from his. Um, inside of his arm to his elbow, make a, a triangular shape wedge cut, cut out, and then bring in his arm more from this position here to this position here. Just made it look a little bit nicer. I did that with both arms, just so they weren't just looking like, like I said, they were lumbering along. I didn't really like that. It was just him just walking. This here gives him a lot more attitude. Um, the face, I spent a lot of time on bruising him up and getting his head all uh, warded and disgusting looking. His back, I've got the um, spots on his back. I took and also uh, hand painted some uh, banners that he uh, probably take, took from uh, other units that he had destroyed. Right there's a Bad Moon banner. I've got some plaid colors worked in there. Some lizard men. Shields. A lot of stitch work. I took and uh, ended up covering up a lot of the uh, the skin that was uh, shown. Just It didn't look as good so I decided just to cover it up. Make it a little bit nicer. Um, the horse. Um, I ended up taking and um, shaving the bottom edges of the horse just so it would lay a lot flatter. Um, I did some of the green stuff to bring the cape down in and make it uh, flop a little bit more. I took and broke the leg on the horse. It's hard to kind of see right there. But I broke the leg on the horse just to show that it you know, had been hurt. There's uh, blood in its mouth. So it's definitely getting ready to have its... Uh, last few moments there. Uh, this piece is uh, going to be for sale. Um, if anybody wants me to do just the conversion part to it and not painted, I can also do that, no problem. Um, I do here at Jane Miniatures Miniatures uh, own a hobby shop so I can get all your uh, uh, Warhammer needs at 20% off. Um, if you want me to build it and paint it, I can also do that. If you look under uh, www.jlminiatures.com uh, you can see some of my uh, 
work there on my uh, photo bucket. Also, the photo bucket's um, pasted underneath my uh, um, my Yahoo type stuff and all that, along with uh, the YouTube uh, forum type stuff underneath my name. You'll definitely see the uh, photo bucket there. This should be uh, still should be um, in my under the giant file that sh should take and uh, give you some really good ideas on how I did it if you do decide you want to try it yourself this model here took me I believe roughly about 15 to 20 hours and that's to take and paint and to convert so there you go that's what it looks like right there if you have any questions or comments I'd greatly appreciate it um, Again, my name is Tim, and this is for JNLMiniatures.com. Thank you.